Hi everyone! As you can see, I've got back from my honeymoon with Tom. We had two weeks out in Orlando, Florida. Week one was at Disney and week two was at Universal Studios. So we thought what better excuse than to show you all the stuff that we picked up in the theme parks out there. So let's crack on and see what we got. As it's just before Halloween, we tried to make the house look a little bit creepy and have sort of a Halloween vibe to this video. So, oh, happy Halloween everyone! Yay! So hopefully you enjoy all our decor. We are in the graveyard right now, which is kind of spooky. Mwahaha. With my skeleton pet that Lola and Poppy do not like at all. So as I said, we stayed out in Orlando for two weeks, Disney and Universal for our honeymoon. And there were a few things that happened out there that we really appreciated. Thank you so much to Disney and Universal for all the perks that they gave us. When we checked into the Swan and Dolphin, because that's where we stayed when we stayed at Disney, we were given these badges for free. So you can see this one says, Just Married, Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort, which is really cute. I'll give you a close-up of this. And then we had the traditional Disney badges. You can get these. You can get these ranging from if it's your birthday, if it's your first trip to Disney, if you're celebrating in general, or if it's an anniversary. So make sure if you are celebrating something special and you are out in Disney, go to guest services and uh, explain your situation and what you're celebrating and Disney give you these badges for free. So these are really cute as well. We've got this green one that says I'm celebrating. So I'll give you a close up. And we got this purple one as well that says happily ever after and this can be used obviously for if you're just married or if you go in there for your anniversaries. I give you a close up of this one too. There are a lot of other things as well that we did have. Uh, Disney and Universal gave us drinks vouchers to spend in their on-site bars. So we had a few cocktails out there, which was really fun. And we also did have champagne and chocolates sent to our room at Universal when we stayed in the Hard Rock. So thank you both so much for being so welcoming and making our honeymoon extra special. Okay, moving on from the honeymoon perks, I'm gonna move on to the Disney and Universal haul now. I'm gonna start with Disney first because that was our first week out on our honeymoon and then I'm gonna show you all the stuff from Universal second. First thing I'm gonna show you is clothing. So Tom didn't pick up any clothing in Disney, but I did. I picked up this top in Epcot. So this top is a really comfy, slouchy jumper. I'm looking at myself in the monitor like, what am I doing? It's a nice comfy slouchy jumper. It's a nice teal colour as well. I fell in love with the colour. I saw this on a mannequin when we walked past the shop in Epcot and I just fell in love with it because it's a nice baggy 80s style jumper. So the sleeves are really long, everything's quite slouchy and it just looks super comfy. The colour is lovely and I love the logo on it. So there's a small logo on the front which I'll give you a close up of now. And as you can see, it's Mickey with an Epcot design. And then the back of the jumper, which I fell in love with, I didn't realise it was on the back, but I love it. It's a huge bit of text there saying, I've got to try and read this upside down, so be impressed. Um, saying Walt Disney World. And then again, that logo with Mickey with the Epcot design in the background. Absolutely love this. I thought the colour was amazing itself and then the design of the jumper was just a bonus. Everything about it is pretty cool. They had this jumper in teal, black or coral colour and I love anything sort of like a bluey green colour so I went for teal. And this came to $59.99. I actually thought it was cheaper than that. I forgot how expensive it was. I'm looking at Tom and he's like... But yeah, it's worth every penny. It's very thick quality. It's a really nice jumper and I just absolutely love it. So this was from Epcot, $59.99. So the next thing I'm gonna move on to are Disney pins, Disney badges. I know a lot of people collect Disney pins and badges and you can trade them with staff members within the park. It's a really cool idea. I haven't got around to doing that myself. I sort of just pick up pins and badges from the films that I like. So the first film and pin that I'm gonna show you is from the film Up. So it's a grape soda badge. Ah! I love this badge. And this I picked up, I think, in Animal Kingdom, but you can pick up a lot of different badges in the parks. Pretty much all the badges are sold in every park. There might be one or two custom-made badges for Animal Kingdom or Epcot or Magic Kingdom, uh, but have a look. This one I'm sure is available in most. This is the blue category. So off the top of my head, I'm not sure price-wise. I'm sorry about that. I think it came to about $12.99, so about $13, because it's quite a chunky, good quality badge. The bigger the badge, the more expensive they'll be. Second pin or badge that I picked up 
is a little one here and it's Baymax. You can see it's so cute. I love Big Hero 6 and Baymax is such a cool character. So I picked up, I think it was three badges for a certain price. I gave two to Kerry, my bestie, for looking after the dog with all the other presents. Thank you so much. And then I kept the third one for myself because I thought Baymax looks pretty cool. I do want one. And this is the third one that I picked up. Again, price-wise, not too expensive. I think it was about $2 a badge for a deal, maybe three. But um, check these out. I always find badges really cute to stick on my dungarees or on cardigans, so it's a nice idea. So I'll give you a close-up of the badges now. First one is the grape soda badge from Up. And the second one is Big Hero 6 and it's a badge of Baymax. Okay, on the theming of Big Hero 6, I did pick up one plushy teddy toy out there in Disney. I could have gone nuts. I could have bought every single teddy in the shop. They are so cute and so many different characters. They are lovely. But I did pick up one. I limited myself. So I got Baymax Teddy. Ah, I just love him. He, I'm looking at him in the monitor, he's so cute. I just love him. He is so cute and so fluffy. So we actually got a chance to meet the character Baymax and the costume that Disney have for the character is amazing. He's huge. So I will insert a picture of when Tom and I met Baymax now. Ping! When we came out, they obviously had a Baymax store. So I went in there and I was like, oh my God, I really need this. And Tom said, just get it. You like it, get it. So I got this one plushie. I didn't want to buy too many. And I think this choice was the best one. He is adorable. So he came to $16.99. So $16.99. And I just think he's great. His arms move. He's just super soft and he's so cute. And I love the film and I love Baymax as a character. Next thing I'm going to show you, we went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which was amazing. You have to pay extra to go to the Halloween event. Not quite sure how much extra it was, but if you do want me to find out for you, I can post it in the links underneath this video. So we bought tickets for Mickey's Not So Scary. In Mickey's Not So Scary, if you're not so familiar with what it is, the park is open until the early hours of the morning, I think. And a lot of the rides are still open and you can ride them in the dark, which is really fun. But also the main thing for it is that there are trick-or-treat stations so they give you a bag and you go around trick-or-treating collecting candy which me and Tom as foodies loved and then they also sell limited edition merch which is Brill which is what I'll show you now and you also get to meet characters at a limited time so Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas which I absolutely love I love Jack and Sally we did get a chance to meet them and we made some friends in the queue whilst we were waiting because it was a two hour wait Ah, so I'll insert the picture of us meeting Jack and Sally now. I look terrible, but it was worth it. The characters were fab. And I'm going to show you some of the limited edition stuff that they were selling at Mickey's Not So Scary, which you can only get at the party. Lola's barking. She's excited. These do look cool, so I'll show you now. The first thing we got is the Snow White Poison Apple Mug. So this limited edition Halloween mug came to $22.99, so pretty much $23. Quite pricey for a mug, but again, it's limited edition and it's really nice quality. I have had a look online and people are selling these on eBay for double, triple the amount. So if you are going to Mickey's Not So Scary and you are a big fan of Snow White, which I am obviously, uh, go in the shops and pick up the limited edition Poison Apple Mug. The next limited edition thing that we picked up at Mickey's Not So Scary, and I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. I saw people walking around with these and I was just like, I need to get one now. So we ran to the store and I'll explain now what it is and where we got it. And we got one and I was just like, yes, hallelujah. So as I mentioned earlier, we met Jack and Sally because Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my favourite films. So one of the characters in the film, if you haven't seen it, is called Oogie Boogie and he's a bit of a meanie. And we picked up this. Oh my god, I love it. It's amazing. It's an Oogie Boogie popcorn holder. So I'll give you a close-up of this at the end. He is obviously quite big, Oogie Boogie character with a nice base, which is quite heavy. But on the back you can see here without me dropping it. <laughs> 
so excited I'm dropping it. At the back here, you can see there is a flap, and this flap opens, and on the night when we were at Mickey's Not So Scary, they filled it up with popcorn. So I think, I'm going to have to check with Tom, who is sat by there watching me. I think on the night, filled up with popcorn, as well as getting the limited edition popcorn holder. How much was it? Because you picked this up. I think it was 13, 14 bucks. There we go, it's been confirmed, 13, 14 dollars, I think roughly. Tom picked this one up and I was just so excited at the time, I wasn't listening and when he gave me the popcorn I was just gone. So this is about 13, 14 dollars. Oogie Boogie character, who is obviously a massive character from the film. The most cool thing that this does, this actually glows in the dark. So this is a nice green colour in the day, in the dark it glows, it looks amazing. It looks so cool. I love it and I think he's amazing. So if you are going again to Mickey's Not So Scary, these are limited edition and you can pick them up at the popcorn stall. They fill it with popcorn and for popcorn and a limited edition Oogie Boogie holder, $13, $40, you can't go wrong. I'll give you a close up of Oogie Boogie now. And I'll also try to show you Oogie Boogie with the lights off and see if he glows. It might not pick it up on the camera, but we'll give it a go. Right, okay, next thing then, I'm gonna go on to glasses. On one of the days at Magic Kingdom, I am obsessed with Beauty and the Beast and Tom, bless him, planned his socks off to try and get us to eat in the Be Our Guest restaurant and got us a last minute cancellation book in. Long story short, when we were in there, the food was really nice and the drinks were nice, but you could get a limited edition sort of Belle Beast Castle goblet and I thought this was cool. So this is what my drink turned up in and it came to about, I think it was about $15 for the goblet Tom, was that right? Roundabout. I'm guessing with the price, it was something about $15. A little bit pricey for a plastic goblet, but you can see the design of the Beast Castle, which is really cool. And then also, wait for it now, wait for the magic. When you turn the switch on, it actually lights up. So I love this, I thought it was really cool. And I said to Tom, oh, we'll get it, it's a souvenir. And when I'm at home, I can feel badass with this cup. If you love Beauty and the Beast as much as I do, then you need to get one of these because it just makes your experience extra fun. The next thing we got, we went over from Be Our Guest Restaurant into Gaston's Pub, which is next door, because there's a nice big Beauty and the Beast area in the Princess Land. And we went in and we had a Lefou brew. The Lefou brew you get served in a normal cup again, or you could get what we did, the sort of limited edition, what are these called? The beer things, like um, do you know what they're called? I can't think, there's a name for beer cups like this, mugs like this. I can't think of the name, but we got one of these. So there is a picture on the front of Le Fou, and then on the back, a picture of Gaston. And Le Fou's brew did come in this cup for us to share. It was lovely, I would recommend getting one. It was sort of like a sorbet with like cream on top, like a mango-y flavor. Really fruity, nice sort of sorbet drink. This cup, I think, with the drink inside, again, very similar to the Be I Guest one, came to about $12, I think. A little bit cheaper because obviously it's just the cup and there aren't any lights on this one. But again, this design is so cool. We had a few pictures of this sat in Gaston's chair with all the antlers around and the theming was amazing. So we picked this up and we thought we could keep it. So I've got my princess cup. Let me just put it back on again because I love it. Oh my God, I'm like a child. I've got my princess cup and then we thought Tom can add this one with Gaston on it. I'll give you a close up of both now. So the first one will be the goblet from the Be Our Guest restaurant. The second one will be the beer cup from the Gaston pub, Le Fou's Brew. seem to look like I have an obsession with cups. I don't, I promise. Just a lot of them are quite cool. So the last one that we picked up was actually in store now, not in a restaurant or a pub or a bar. This is again Beauty and the Beast related because I love Beauty and the Beast. It is the best Disney film in my eyes. Obviously some of you guys may disagree, but being such a big fan, this was sold in pretty much when we were out in Disney, most of the stores because it's so popular. It's a Beauty and the Beast sort of sippy cup. 
with the enchanted rose inside and I'm pretty sure the top of this cup lights up. I haven't tested it. Uh, yeah, it says lights up in massive black right in there. Duh. So the top of this cup does light up. I've taken the top off. Let me just see if I can get it on. I don't know what I'm doing, so bear with. Hey, there it is. So again, yeah, that is really cool. I'm not sure if it picks up with the lights on in the room, but I will give you a close up of this at the end with the lights on. This cup, like I said, you can buy in pretty much of any of the Disney merchandise stores in the parks. A lights up and the enchanted roses inside. And it came to, I haven't got the price on it. I remember actually in the store, there wasn't a price on it. So we had to go and ask one of the um, staff members. Tom again asked for that, bless him. Do you remember how much it was? Think about 15. Think about 15. Think about 15 dollars. Again, I love Beauty and the Beast. I think that's a great price and there's a light in the top. So I love that. I think that's fab. So I will give you a close up of this now. And then I will also give you a close up of this with the lights off to see if you can see it actually lit up. I'm not sure again if the camera will pick up the lights in the cup, but here we go, have a quick look. Right then, Disney stuff is all done. We got quite a lot of stuff now to show you from Universal 2. However, just before I move on to my Universal stuff, a quick note here are uh, my Disney ears. They're looking a bit bruised and battered from the journey home. Oh, but these are my Disney ears that I wore in Animal Kingdom. These are ears by a company called Ears by Erin and I bought these online. The main reason that I'm showing these, I didn't buy these in the parks, no, but I had a lot of questions from girls in the parks. Where did you get your ears from? I really liked them when I was in Animal Kingdom. So these I had to tell everyone, I bought them online and they're by a company called Ears by Erin. So if you would like unique ears, she sells all different types. I picked up this floral sort of design for Animal Kingdom and they did go down very popular. So if you would like them, check her out her prices are really good too it's not sponsored I just thought I'd throw them into this haul because this was one thing when I was out on the honeymoon that people really seemed to like and I got a lot of questions about which was really sweet so check them out ears by Erin right then next thing we're going to move on to is all the stuff that we picked up in Universal so we did pick up quite a lot here so let's crack on <laughs> 